My name is Fred Cole, and I have a secret. <laughs> uh, no, I actually play guitar and sing in Pierce Tarot's and write songs. And my name is Tootie, and I play bass guitar and do vocals in Pierce Tarot's as well. <laughs> what a... <laughs> my, uh, um, well, I'll start first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life's work is, uh, is about getting the most out of life, giving back sharing with people, and I think uh, creative people do that best. I think it's something that's just in us that we have to do and um, inspires other people to uh, take up when, uh, when we're done and gone. And for me, uh, keeps life interesting, keeps you busy. Uh, it, you know, if you're not doing anything, you're dying. So, you know, uh, I like to, not just music, uh, like to build things. Um, for me and Tootie, we're together 24-7, and we do everything together, play music, uh, yeah. work. That's a unique experience yeah. in its own right. <laughs> well, it's just pretty much always been like that. We, um, we met when we were uh, uh, both around 18 years old, and uh, just been together ever since. Uh, got married, I don't know, a few months after that, and been married for 42 years, and we've pretty much just shared everything, all the ups and downs and the roads life. Yeah, uh, lead you down for for the you know, for the better for the worse, <laughs> as they say, and um, it's just been uh, something that has just always worked for us, and uh, and come to appreciate how rare and unique that is, and uh, value every moment of it. Uh, from my standpoint, I hear from a lot of younger women that are involved in the arts or just going through the pains of growing up and uh, whatever. I'm 60 years old right now. I've been doing music and play music for 30 years and um, we've had our modem of uh, success and uh, notoriety here in town been involved in the music scene for many years so I hear quite often that I'm I've become a mentor and a and a and a and an inspiration to um, a lot of the women that are in, involved in uh, the arts and just people in general in our audience and that's very rewarding to me to think that um, I can give them some little yeah. snippet of advice that will help them along for me, it's uh, having guys come up to me that are about 30 or 35, real depressed about playing, go, oh man, I'm too old to play rock and roll and this and that and blah, 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 until I came and saw you guys play tonight. And then they go, man, you make me feel like I'm about 12. So, <laughs> I, you know, that, that works for me. It's like um, getting guys that had a dream when they were 21 and never fulfilled it and uh, kind of gave up on it somewhere along the way. And um, there's just a lot of those people out now that uh, are going back to playing again, writing again, getting in bands again. Yep. Um, and Your dreams really never cool. go away. You just, yeah. you just bury them and, and regret that um, you uh, didn't follow through. Yeah. Oh, for me? Uh, oh, geez. That goes back to Jerry Lee Lewis. Uh, Elvis, uh, <clears throat> Hank Williams uh, Sr., uh, then the Beatles, uh, the Rolling Stones, uh, Arthur Lee. Yeah. Uh, Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. <laughs> uh, the whole cast. Uh, you know, I, Willie Nelson, uh, Johnny Cash. Yeah. Uh, those are pretty much all, you know, John Wayne, Clint Eastwood. Yeah. <laughs> Same no. here. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, the first one that did that for me was uh, was Meet the Beatles. Mm -hmm. And then the one that, and that's when I was a young teenager. And then once the Rolling Stones came out and Bob Dylan and I got into uh, about the same time and uh, really got into the lyrical content, especially with Dylan. And then uh, to me, after hearing the Rolling Stones, the Beatles started sounding like a what pop was, band to me. What was the one instead of rock and roll? Dylan album where he's walking down the street and the girls right um, beside him. It's got uh, positively Ninth Street. No, no. Or, um, anyway, that 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 anyway, album really did it for me. It's all the, the one first that's got, ones. You know, uh, uh, it's got killer songs on it. And I can't th think of which album it is right yeah, now. But anyway, I had yeah, all of them. That, yeah. Any any of the Dylan stuff. Yeah. It made me realize that Bobby V just sucked, okay? <laughs> uh, at that particular point in time, uh, you know, Bobby V and Tab Hunter and, uh, you know, all these guys were biggies and 
um, and the songwriting uh, that was going on over the air to me pretty much sucked. And uh, it really gave me a whole new throw on music because up to that point I, I was writing melody lines and you know, I really had a hard time using the word love <laughs> over and over and over in a song. So when I heard Dylan's lyrics, it was like, oh my God, this guy's got something to say. And yeah, that for me, I remember it making me feel very grown up because I heard a couple of different comments from adults who thought that um, you were too young to understand what Dylan was getting at and what he was actually writing about yeah. and points of view he was trying to get across. And uh, it all made complete sense to me. I got every word of it. So mm -hmm. it kind of was uh, like a rite of passage. I believe so. I think it does for every generation. Mm -hmm. that's, I think that's the main reason. It just happens to hit you, uh, like I say, in that, that passage between being a, a kid and a young adult or whatever, and, um, and kind of trusting your own reason, opinions, and thoughts. And I think music flavors that for everyone in one, one aspect of their life or, or You another. need eleven dollar bills, you only, you only got, got ten. 10. <laughs> okay. Or the vandals took the handles yeah. or you know, any of them. Just no, it's pumps don't work because the vandals took the handles. Yeah, yeah man. it's all killer. I think being surrounded by uh, you know, every age group and every class color distinction, this, that, rich, poor, uh, you know, it just gives you the sense that uh, most things are timeless, that age, gender, et cetera, don't have anything to do with it, financial status. And we're pretty much around an incredible um, mix of people from really young to our age and older um, all the time. We have a, yeah. a really diverse audience, and that um, I think that keeps everything fresh. Well, <laughs> and I, I've never believed that everything's been used up already. It's like everybody goes, oh, man, I'll... All the songs have been written, all the lyrics have been used, all the chords have been played. Man, people have been doing it forever, and it's still Maybe so, fresh. but there's always a different still point of view. Still <laughs> new twists on everything. Writing, yeah. uh, whether it's novels or songs or whatever, uh, lyrics are, are, are a real major thing. Yeah, and each idea is unique, so. And vocal styles, I mean, you know. Yeah. Uh, Everybody's got a different story to tell, yeah. and they're all yeah. interesting and need to be heard. Mm, I don't know. I've always been open to change mm. and can't quite understand why you would want to limit yourself um, to seeing other possibilities. Um, to me, it's scary to not do that rather than to do that. So I, I, I really don't understand that one. Yeah. What would, you, what would you say to yourself? I go, dude, learn how to sing. <laughs> okay. That was the first thing my mother and everybody said, man, just quit jumping around, you know. Uh, I got a uh, Great Balls of Fire record when I was like nine or ten, and um, I'd just go into my room, lock the door, stand in front of this big mirror, and just scream and jump all over the place like a frog or something, you know. And I was bound to determine, man, that was going to be you know, uh, a lead singer at some point, and uh, that's what I... Well, it only took you about 50 years, not that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to do, but you know, it's like, as soon as I got on stage, you know, my mom came and saw me one time and said, oh man, oh, give it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, you know, uh, this is not gonna work for you, but uh, oh. I, I got lucky and it, you know, it worked out, but uh, boy. Uh, um. Let I'd probably ask. say in a way take your time, but uh, we kind of sort of did that. I feel like we lived kind of the, the oldest, um, most responsible part of our life when we were really young, and now we're getting our, our chance at, at uh, the uh, footloose uh, lifestyle that, that most people enjoy when they're teenagers. Um, so we've kind of done it the opposite. So I'm pretty satisfied with my 17-year-old my self. Uh, I, I always just... Um went with exactly how I felt about everything that I was I was singing. I never really tried to be anybody else. I, I just, um, uh, you know, uh, talk about, you know, everybody go, oh man, you gotta sing from the diaphragm. I always sang from my heart, you know, my lungs, whatever. I, and, uh, you know, uh, I guess after you just 
do something long enough, it becomes yeah. <laughs> normal, you know. He was or, always good, yeah. trust me. You know. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and singing from the heart and telling your story, that's, that's what gets people. That's, yeah. that, that's what makes you great. I never really wrote stuff for other people. Uh, I wrote more for myself and Tootie and friends that I know rather than what I thought people would want to hear. You know? Yeah, <laughs> it's never been so, a top right here. Yeah, or listening to the top 40 and going, man, you know, I, gee, if I just change that one chord, I could make a whole new song. No, no. <laughs> How's Great Balls of Fire go? <laughs> well, we won't talk about that. <laughs> no. Uh, how's it doing? No, how does it go? How's the song go? Oh. You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah. You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. <laughs> Good God, gotta... Drive a man insane. Man insane. <laughs> you broke my wheel, but what a thrill. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. I think so. And if nothing else, uh, you, as you're doing it, you can tell. <laughs> you can feel it yourself. And, um, and see that energy coming back from people when you're, um, you're sharing emotion. Oh, I, I just think it, it, it's, Everybody's got a, a valuable lesson to teach one way or the other, uh, even if they've been, you know, on the negative side of things. And um, I just think each person on the planet's a, a unique individual and... Uh, has something to nobody say. Nobody has the, exactly the same life and, uh, you know, all have different things that we've learned and can pass on. And um, I don't know, I just, I, I find people's stories uh, very interesting. It's a part of, uh, of history, you know. And I think uh, all of us want to be, um, uh, be be thought of and remembered, and uh, yeah. have someone on the planet know you were here. Make your mark. Yeah. You know, whether you say it out loud or think it, that's that's pretty much. I think anything new, it's great that oh. no matter how old you get, it always has that element of surprise in it. You know. Uh, for us, given our background, it's usually technology-based. I'll tell you, you know, one but, thing I haven't seen, okay, and this is new. This just happened <laughs> on the way in. We were up on Clinton, <laughs> and a double semi did a U-turn on Clinton. I'd never seen anything like that in my life. I don't even I know mean, how he got this rig around, but he did thing. it It looked traffic. like he was just going wide to make a left-hand turn. And he, he went, went completely, all the way uh, complete. And everybody else is just sitting there at the light, like. We went, whoa! Oh, my man. God, I've never seen anything like that. That was just on the way in here. That was like half an hour ago. I don't know. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, every something day you see something. Every day. You know. I am Fred Cole, not Freddie Coletti. Uh, <laughs> that's a story in yeah. itself that took all my royalties. But anyway, Fred Cole. Uh, Pierce Darrow's guitarist, vocalist, songwriter. Yeah. And I'm Tootie. That's my nickname, stage name that everybody knows me by. Real name's Kathleen Cole. And uh, I'm the bass guitar and uh, vocalist of uh, Pierce Darrow's. A native Oregonian, I'm proud of it. <laughs> me? I was born in Tacoma, Washington. Oh, you poor baby. Me. Yeah. That's not. <laughs> I think so. Oh, yeah. I mean, ever since I've been a kid, it's always seemed like one of the more uh, free-thinking, independent states. Uh, it's the most innovative states, and state, I think. We've traveled a lot, and it's yeah. pretty much the homeland of America, as far yeah. as I'm concerned. <laughs> a lot of innovative ideas yeah. come out of here, and, and incredible musicians. Not only that, we follow through on them, which is, and which is it's awesome. Got the, one of the largest music scenes. Uh, and, and artistic for, communities. Yeah, and, and for per capita, man, there's more clubs here than there is anywhere on yeah. the planet, I think, uh, for how what this population is here. And not only that, the, the, the local public supports the arts big time all across yeah. the board, and it's really um, amazing, refreshing to see, to uh, have people want to expose themselves to something else besides You do not want to play science. Salt Lake City on a Monday night, <laughs> okay? That family home night, remember, remember that. this, yeah. okay? And that is so not a rock and roll town anyway. Okay. It's so not <laughs> happening. Okay.
It has ours. I mean, at, at least it, it gives, um, what it gives us the most is an incredibly healthy balance because we've always been involved in business as well, which is kind of a strange combination. But um, it, it gives us that, that great balance between uh, showing off your artistic creative side as opposed to your practical stuff you got to take care of and dealing with family and being at home and then also being on the, on the road touring and seeing a lot of different parts of the world and meeting people from all over, all over the area and uh, all over the world. And uh, it's been, uh, it's a great life, it really is. It uh, feeds the mind, soul, everything else. Not that I can think of. We ain't going anywhere. We're, 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 all, we're gonna be in Portland for the rest of our lives, except for when yeah. we go on tour, but yeah. this is it. Yeah, it's home, best place Oregon, <laughs> cool. <laughs> Wonderful. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, you bet. Got it.